Hi welcome back to Hefeast YouTube channel. Welcome to Understanding Diasensitized Solar Cells, Harnessing the Power of Light. This educational video aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of diasensitized solar cells, commonly known as DSSC. Whether you are a researcher exploring new horizons or a student trying to grasp the fundamentals, this video is your ultimate guide. So, let's embark on this fascinating journey to unravel the secrets of diasensitized solar cells. What are DSSCS? Diasensitized solar cells, or DSSC, are a type of photovoltaic device that convert light energy directly into electricity. They are often referred to as artificial photosynthesis due to their ability to mimic the natural photosynthesis process in plants. DSSCS consists of several key components, which we will explore further in the next section. What are components of DSSC? Component 1. Transparent Conducting Substrate The first essential component of a diasensitized solar cell is the transparent conducting substrate. Typically, materials such as fluorine-doped tin oxide, FDO, or indium tin oxide, ETO, are used as substrates due to their transparency and electrical conductivity. This component allows light to pass through and makes electrical contact with the other components of the cell. Component 2. Disensitized Layer The disensitized layer is a crucial component responsible for capturing light energy. It is composed of a photosensitive dye that absorbs photons from incident light, creating an excited state. This energy is then transferred to the conduction band of the semiconductor material, initiating the flow of electrons. Component 3. Electrolyte The electrolyte in a DSSC plays a vital role in facilitating the movement of electrons. It acts as a redox mediator, regenerating the dye molecule to its original state for further light absorption. Typically, liquid electrolytes or solid-state electrolytes are used, depending on the specific design and requirements of the DSSC. Component 4. Counter-Electrode The counter-electrode in a DSSC completes the circuit by collecting and transferring electrons from the external circuit back to the disensitized electrode. It is usually made of materials like platinum or carbon, which possess good electrical conductivity and catalytic properties, ensuring efficient electron transfer. How to measure the efficiency of DSSC? The formula, DSSC Efficiency Calculation. To measure the efficiency of a disensitized solar cell, a commonly used formula is the power conversion efficiency, piece. It is calculated by dividing the electrical power output, JSC Vop fill factor, of the DSSC by the incident power from the light source and multiplying by 100%. The PEACE formula helps researchers and manufacturers evaluate the effectiveness and performance of different DSSC designs. What are the potential of DSSC in the industry? What are the advantages of DSSC? Disensitized solar cells offer several advantages over traditional solar cells. They exhibit high absorption efficiency, even in low light conditions, making them suitable for indoor or cloudy environments. Additionally, DSSCS can be fabricated using cost-effective materials and manufacturing processes providing a more affordable option for large-scale solar energy generation. What are the applications of DSSC? The potential of disensitized solar cells reaches far and wide across various industries. They can be integrated into building facades, 
windows, electric vehicles and even wearable devices, seamlessly blending renewable energy generation with everyday objects. DSSCS also hold promise for powering remote sensors, portable electronics and off-grid applications contributing to a more sustainable future. Therefore the Zero Carbon 2050 mission and sustainable development goals can be achieved in the near future. Congratulations! You've now gained a solid understanding of dye-sensitized solar cells, their components, efficiency measurement, and the potential they hold in the renewable energy industry. We hope this video has shed light on the wonders of DSSCS and inspired you to further explore this fascinating field. Thank you for joining us today, and may the power of light guide us towards a greener and brighter future.